Hi, my name is Rowan Hanna. I'm the uh, VP of SDK Products and Solutions at Fox Software. And uh, today I'm just going to take you through uh, a new um, project we've been working on called WebPDF Pro uh, JS, which is a uh, JavaScript uh, based um, PDF viewer for web browsers. Um, obviously, working uh, client side in the browser. Um, so if you're already familiar with our web PDF viewer product, which is a, uh, it has a server side mode, so it's installed on the server and, and PDF files are um, loaded and displayed and processed on the server. Um, this is a, an alternative project where it's all happening in JavaScript on the client side um, and it has equivalent uh, functionality and I'll just uh, quickly uh, walk you through it. So um, here we have the default sort of sample PDF, um, standard scrolling. When I start scrolling, you see the uh, view options here. I can move to the um, next page, previous page, zoom in, zoom out, uh, rotate the page, um, change from uh, you know, single page continuous view to, um, to single page view um, there and go to full screen mode uh, as well for reading the PDF. Um, functionality wise, um, you know, standard things like select text um, works there. Um, select annotations, those two annotations on the page, uh, zoom. Um, we have the typewriter tool uh, for adding new text to a document. Uh, the highlight tool, highlighting uh, text and you can obviously change the, the color of the text there as well. Um, ability to import and export um, both uh, annotations and form form field data in there. On the comment tab, uh, you know, we have a variety of different an annotations supported here uh, and you know markup annotations here with the highlight and underline and strike through and squiggly underline. Uh, the note tool Shown there. Uh, we have the call out tool. Uh, you know, select a particular area of the page and point to it and um, type in type in text there, um, away from it. Um, we also have a variety of different shape uh, annotations, circle, for instance, um, arrow, and so on, uh, as well as the pencil tool, so you can. Scribble on the page and uh, a variety of different stamps, both dynamic stamps and standard stamps. So the dynamic stamps, for example, with approved, clicking on that, you can see if, you know, um, this user is Fox at Web PDF, uh, taking the, the system time on this computer to 7.51 p.m. and the date is the 27th of uh, September. Um, there's also um, just you know, what they call standard standard stamps or static stamps, just just um, yeah, basically image annotations uh, with a stamp there. And then um, I showed you on the previous page there was import and export um, form field data. This one is import and export uh, annotation data as well, or, or show or hide all comments uh, in there. Um, on the Protect tab, uh, we have the ink signature, so the ability to um, draw a signature. Do that with my cursor. This, you know, obviously would work on um, touchscreen uh, devices on your uh, Surface tablet, something like that, or on a HP Spectre 360, uh, where you could draw, draw in there with your finger. Uh, so then I just click on OK click on an area of the page and then it gets added to the page. You can see there uh, the option to um, you know, expand it or bring it in and then I just click on uh, the green tick there to add it to the page. Uh, and it can also do password protection. So because I've been making some changes to this, I need to save it first. And then I can add in a password uh, into that and encrypt the PDF. Uh, in addition to that, it also supports um, form filling. So let's bring up a, a form. And 
So it looks like that one's already filled out, but today's date, 27th September 2017, and so on. You can see it, it's filling out a, a range of data there, checkboxes uh, filled out there as well, or radio box, uh, radio choice buttons in that case. Um, so yeah, there we can see a variety of functionality in, in the WebPDF Pro JS. Uh, this is all um, written with uh, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Uh, working client side on the machine, and um, as you can see, it's quite a lot of functionality and working quite well. And we'll be releasing this um, onto the market uh, very soon, and continuing to expand its functionality. Hope you enjoyed the video.